Rusty is a very anxious two-year-old Jack Russell who finds peace and safety mostly by being in the lap of his human. Learning the trust technique, his human is showing Rusty that he can be peaceful and relaxed on his own as well. She's communicating that right now she is not available for a cuddle, but here to share the present moment with him and feel connected in a new way. Rusty is going through a process here of letting go. His body already feeling the calming effect of the trust technique, his mind still seeking for the familiar way to connect and feel at peace. You can see his nose resting on her leg. Also present here is the other family dog, Polly. She's a Sky Terrier and a confident and usually level-headed dog, but she gets affected by Rusty's anxiety as you will later see in the video. This is also the reason she's on lead. When Rusty's anxiety escalates, Polly gets agitated and tries to stop it by rushing to him and snapping at him. Here we see a change. Rusty is feeling so relaxed he wants to sit down instead of standing, but is still seeking touch leaning on his human's leg. Rusty's letting go process advances at his own pace. His human holds the space for him. In the trust technique we call that mindful regard. She's adjusting her position so she can clearly see Rusty's face and observe what's going on for him and taking his cues for the process to know when to share the present moment with him and when to mindfully regard him. We've put the little cushion there for Rusty as an alternative to his human's lap as a place of comfort and relaxation. He is already familiar with it from the previous two sessions he had with me. As soon as Rusty is finally letting go here, Polly responds. She's yawning, a sign of letting go, a release for her, for how Rusty's anxiety affects her. We all share feelings and we affect one another. When one changes, there are changes in the other one as well. And another yawn. Polly is processing and integrating this new experience of Rusty finding peace within himself. Phone. 
One of Rusty's big triggers is someone approaching the door. I accidentally stimulated this trigger by getting up and moving in that general direction immediately. Rusty feels very agitated and Polly would like to go and tell Rusty off, but I asked her to come with me instead. Rusty's human regards all this unpeace that's coming up and out through the barking and crying, but there is no interference like asking him to stop or trying to distract him, but he also doesn't just get ignored. So let's help him now because the good thing is he's still sitting on his cushion, you know. Being allowed to safely express how you feel in a space that's actively held for you helps to let go all that unpeace. An inner calm arises in your own time. Receiving such regard and respect for your own pace builds trust and fills you with gratitude and love. It's not a band-aid approach, but healing can happen when instead of being pushed or distracted or ignored, there is time for an inner learning process to unfold. Rusty releases with a yawn. Remember, we don't need to know, okay. just some agitation and peace. And peace, that's right. Something that stands between him and being peaceful. Even though we are working with Rusty here, all along we have seen how Polly is affected too, going through her own process. Now, she can let go and lie down herself again too. How beautiful. That's a big rewiring for him. Yeah. Mm. So I'll just get up again in a moment. Yeah. But it's lovely how quickly he comes down, isn't it? Look, another release. So all his life, somebody getting up, he is respected like this and she can, is able to relax too with this. So, yeah. so you can see the nervous system response, yet there's the new input from you of right now. You can look at how much she's releasing. Yeah, that's really lovely. So, here comes round two. Okay, help him to get peaceful again. I reset the trigger stimulus by getting up perhaps a little bit too much so. So much unpeace is coming up again and Polly reacts to him. But Rusty's human helps him with her mindful regard and he's engaging with the process of letting go rather than escalating. As a byproduct, Polly calms to lying back down again. You could call that like little auntie. So instead of barking, he's now whinging, just whinging right now. Yeah? Maybe he he went to the back door. I, I will in a moment maybe yeah. because this is going on. So let's help him. 
and we have to go at his pace. Remember, we don't want to push. Yeah. We want to we want to stay where maybe there's just whinging or possibly even below that. If we can just do little steps up, okay, he can deal with it now, and then I'll take maybe a step more and a step more. And if he can just stay at this level, he'll learn much faster than if every time we push him too far, yeah. where he has to take it all the way up. And he can't think at all. That's right. But do you see how fast he calmed down? Mm. 